Greetings, meatbaggy Cyrax. Evidently, the meatbag was sleeping and missed your show. Thanks to N-Word Boy, we were able to catch up. Side note, NWB, we salute you. Back to the meatbaggy. Braxy, we really do know who you are. If you think we judge you based solely on your panel appearances and videos, you are very wrong. However, we also get a great idea of who you are from them, too. Right now, we can tell you don't understand that you should only start the stream when you have everything set up. What is up, YouTube? How's everybody doing tonight? How is everybody tonight, man? We also see you have no planned dialogue. An intro would give you some time to figure something out if you can't be bothered to plan ahead. What are you guys up to, man? What's good? Not this, not you, that's for sure. I'm gonna send the link out to somebody right quick. The clicks are lame, by the way. Because I have a couple special guests joining the stream. Interjection. Whatever you say, Raxo. We're just gonna tell the audience about who you are while you do a hard brain reboot. Cyrax is possibly the most selfish organism on the entire planet. And we'll start with the way in which he is the most selfish of all, his desire for sexual gratification. Several years ago, an astute observer named Kate noted that Raxo was offering mentorship for bullied people. Understanding that bullying is almost exclusively a phenomenon experienced by children, she was suspicious of his motives. So she approached him in the guise of a 14-year-old girl being bullied at school. The conversation went creepy relatively quickly. And here you can see it for yourself. The first picture is indeed a photo of Raxo's penis. Rax himself claims that they talked on the phone before this, and Kate told him she was 18. You will have reason to doubt this rather quickly. Within three messages of the photo, she mentions how she will be turning 15 in May. She also mentions how she won't tell anyone and how big his wang is. Some might argue that he simply didn't see the message about being 14 at the moment. Just wait until the end. You'll see he knew all along he was not talking to someone who was of age. Also, be sure to note he's asking for some photos from her. The kind of photos that would be considered CP if they truly came from someone so young. He literally asks her for Charlie Papa. And this isn't the only time. Moreover, this appears to be one thing he actually has a quote-unquote talent for. He's very reassuring, doesn't go right for the nudes he's looking for. Instead, we see a relatively smooth groomer, considering who Raxo actually is. This makes him even more dangerous in our opinion. And as you can see, the photo she provided made Raxo quite happy indeed. He rewarded her with another photo of his phallus. The decoy then moved the topic to where each other lived. But Raxi wasn't really that interested. Sure, he answered her question. But what he really wanted was a very special photo to help him finish what he was doing at the time. He wasted almost no time asking for her in her birthday suit. Remember, in the very beginning, she approached him as a bullied teenager. Now we see both that he never cared about her problems and believed he was talking to a minor. What he says is pretty much from the sicko playbook. He doesn't want her to tell anyone, so he says she made a huge mistake. He also asks her to not do anything. Then pays lip service to her problems and leaves. Braxy didn't know at the time it was a decoy. This is really how he would treat a vulnerable teen. And he genuinely would only worry about whether he got in trouble. Not what being used as a masturbation aid would do to a potential victim. But we also know he is selfish about the most basic things, too. Watch him apologize for being too loud before going right back to being too loud. I will hear you out if you stop and listen to five seconds. What? 
Right. No, but it's fun. stop yelling. No, I'm fucking bitch that Hitler because she's not fucking listening to what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I know. I'm, stop yelling. We can hear you over the TV. Sorry. Lower it down. I will listen to you, Chance, if you just... No, you, you need to... No, 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 you stop. need to shut the fuck up. Sally, for Sally's sake, stop for a second. No, no. You, you need to shut the fuck up. I won't listen to you until you listen to me. That's it. I don't give a fuck what you have to say, bitch. I don't... Moreover, we know he lies. A lot. About anything and everything. Here he is lying to the police about attacking Marty. And did you hit him at all today when you no. were there, or did he just... No, I went, because when I was, when I approached him, I went like this, because my sleeve was, like, starting to slide down, so I was like, yo, I'm going to put the sleeve back. And Notice how he there, tries to explain yo, away his obvious attempt to punch to Marty, leave, and what it looks like in the footage. Oh, jeez, Raxi, are you still rebooting? When he's done, get ready to hear some lies. Today, please! Now, a lot of people want to sit there and talk shit, which I find funny as fuck. No, you don't. I do. I find it funny. No, you don't. And you want to know why I find that funny? Not really. I find it funny because of the fact that people think that they know me. That's what you think. They think they know who I am. Now some of you might recognize this. And as you should. I'll say this for him. He sure knows how to help a content creator out with hand motions and dialogue that bites him in the ass. Thanks for all your help, Cyrax. Just look at those eyes. Porch lights are on. One of them slightly askew, but nobody's home. Dead Air Rax is on fire again. Now, I do find it very, very interesting that people talk so much shit. More lies in a loop. He does not find it funny or interesting people have negative things to say about him. If he did, he wouldn't deploy a team of moderators to smite every negative comment. Instead, this is his way of broaching the subject so he doesn't look like a sensitive snowflake. Transparent as glass, Raxo. Anyway, we've proven our point that we do indeed know you, Cyrax. Everybody knows you, except you, evidently. Thank you all for watching this. Have an excellent time of day.